Okay. Uh, today our topic is a contest. Okay. What is a counter? Counter means counting number of pulses. Okay. That means if any object is uh, passing through any sensor, right? So the sensor is going on or off, right? It's going on or off. That means it is sending you a signal in terms of a pulse on off, on off. So that number of times it is going on off, we are counting. Okay, so here we are having uh, a counter that is CU. CU means a counter, means whenever the input is, uh, signal is coming, it is counting the signal, right? The number of times it is going on or off. So that is plus one. For each pulse, it is adding up by one, that is called incrementing, right? So, let's see the example here. Because this counter block, you can see CU is an input, this is your pulse input. So here we have to give a sensor input address. So I0.0, for example. Okay, I just change this symbol here. I just rename them. Okay, the input as input address as uh, sensor one. Then counter number C zero. Here also counter numbers are starting from C zero, C one, C two, C three like that. Okay. Now the range of the counters depends on the CPU PLC. Okay, some C PLC support sixty four counters, some support one twenty eight counters, some support two thousand counters. It depends on the PLC time. Next, you can see S. S is a set input. It is also Boolean input. You can see when I move the cursor here, it is showing input as Boolean. Means it's a digital input. Whereas when I move the cursor to PV, that is called preset value. It's a word address. Okay. So this, will, this example we will see later. First, we see with the next reset input. Okay, reset is also Boolean. Like you, I0.1, some address here. Now, here we are having Q in the output side here. Q is the output. There is also optional if you want to connect any coil. Okay, output coil, Q0.0. Then, CV. CV means Count value. Okay, so is your counted value. Okay, means the number of times this input is going on or off. So your counter is counting, incrementing by one. Okay, so that value is stored in CV. So to take that value, to read that value, we need some memory address here. For that example, I'm taking MW2 as a word memory here to read that value from CV. Okay, because it is not having any particular address. Okay, to which if I want to compare or add or do some calculation, okay, I need to take this value into some memory. So that's why I'm using some word memory MW2. Okay, now I download this monitor and now. Here you can see in CV right now the value is zero. Okay. And the output status is off. Now, what I do, I give this input I0.0 on. When the input is on, you can see in CV there is a value one. And 
output queue is on. Next, I will remove the input. Input is off. But still, the output status is on. Okay. And in MW2, value is one. When I give the input again, dot is two. Number of times I make the input on off here is counting up. It's incrementing, right? And you can see the output strategy is still remaining on. That means there is some value present in your counter, right? So from one to nine, nine, nine. So maximum value for the counter is you can reduce nine, nine, nine. Okay. So minimum it can be zero. Okay. Minimum is zero. Okay. So if the value is zero in CV, output status will be off. If your value is from one to nine, 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 then the output remains continuously on. That means some value present in your counter. Okay, only for that information we are having this output status. Okay, so if I do the uh, <clears throat> reset input here, what happens? The CV counter value reset to zero directly. Okay, whatever the value is there, it resets to zero. And the output status you can see here, it is off because there is, if there is a zero value in CV, the output will be off. Okay, again, if I give the input here, right, the output status is on. So when I give the reset input here, now, here we are having set and PV. Set means when you give this input, what are the values there in PV? Okay, if I directly want to set some value, Okay, in your CV, in the output, just like I want, I don't want to count from beginning. I want to start counting from some hundred or two hundred some value. Okay, so directly I need to set that value. Then from that value onwards, I need to count. So for that option, I can use this set and PV. So here example, I do some I just want to address. So when I do the address here, this will question mark for PV. Means if you are taking giving the address to set, you should give the address to PV also. Here we take this is a format C hash, like I take 100 and download. Now now. Yeah, right now in CV value is zero. What I do, I give the address I0.2. So when I given I0.2 address, what happened? The value 100 is moved to MW2. So it is showing 64, that is your hexadecimal value, hexadecimal format. Whereas here you can see below it is in BCD format, CV underscore BCD. This is in BCD format. Okay, what we are selected. This is your hexadecimal format. That's why it is showing 64. Now I remove the set input. The value is set to 100 now. So when I give this CU input here, what value it is counting here? 101. Right? After 100, it starts counting. So this is optional if you want to start some under value. Okay, for counting. You need to use set and PV. Otherwise, it is not mandatory. Okay, it's not mandatory. That means it is optional. Okay. Sometimes, like uh, if your machine is counting, right? Number of uh, like a packing machine, right? Number of boxes have been packed or packets are packed, right? So it is already uh, some value like 250 or 500. Suppose if it is 500. So last value is stored in some memory. If you are using DP memory, that it might be stored. So what happens? I know what was the last value, right? From that value only, I should start counting. I don't want to again start from the beginning. So for such purpose, I can use set and PV to set that direct value 500. And then 
when you give the serial input, it starts counting from 501, 502 like that. So here I have taken the example of 100 instead of 500. In case if I give reset input, it will reset to zero. Okay, so this is your up counter. Similarly, we are having CD that is down counter. Means counting down minus one, decrementing. Okay, I0.3. Next counter number C1. Here I will give C. Control B, five zero point five. It's a memory MW four. Again, this is optional here. Okay. Now, what is the value in CV right now? I'm not taking output here because this is optional. Okay. Now, this. Well, right now, what's the value in CV? It is zero. So when I give I zero point three, anything happening in the CV? Nothing, because here in counter you can read minimum zero to maximum nine 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 only. Here we are not having any minus values. That's why it is not going below zero. Whereas for down counter. If you want to count down, first you need to set some value. Okay, so I give the set input I0.4. You can see value 100 is set in CV. Then when I give this input I0.3, start counting down. Number of times your input is going on off, it is making minus one for each pulse. If you give reset input, it directly reset to zero. That's it. Reset means zero always. Okay. So here we need to set the CV value. That's why we need to use set and PV here. Whereas here for count up, from beginning, if you want to count, then you no need to use this set and PV. If you want to count from some middle value, then you have to set that value first. For that purpose, we can use set and PV. Okay, so this is optional here. Now, our next counter, CUD, this is optional. Means generally we are having up counter or down counter only. Whereas in this counter, we are having both the option, up counting and down counting. Okay. And remaining options are same. Here, counter number two, C2, C1 already we are used here. Then, this address I0.6 for up counter, I0.6 uh, seven for down count. Then, for reset, I0.9. It is not there, right? So I'll go for I1.0. I'll go for I1.0. And for CV, I take some memory for storing counter value. Now, download. You can also set and figure optional. If you want to directly set some value for that purpose, you can use. Okay. Now, when I give I0.6 here, is counting up. Right? So when I give I0.7, it will count down. The same value will be counted down. In case, if I'm making both inputs simultaneously on, Right? I'm making CU and CD both inputs on at a time. Right? So what happens? So first input, if suppose CU is coming first and then CD. 
right? See, once again, when I do the C input first, it is counting up. Then this is still on. Then I give CD input. It is counting down, right? If in case CD input is coming first and then the CU, so what is happening here initially? First, it will make the minus, then plus, right? It depends on your signals, okay? Whichever the input is coming last, that will be performed, okay? First, if it is coming up, it will add one. Then if it is say, second CD is on, it will minus one. If CD is on first, then it will, it will minus one. If say, CU is uh, coming later, it will plus one. Okay. So this is what is happening in this counter. So here when I do this I0.1, sorry, 1.0, this is for reset. It will reset your counter here. Okay. So these are our counters. Okay. Now, if I want to use the comparator with this, for example, to compare this value and make some outputs on or off. In our last lecture, we have seen this comparator topic, right? So I can use this comparator equal to, here I can give the input MW6, which is the output of your counter. <clears throat> then if that value is five, I want to make some output on the Q0 point one something. Now, can I give the input here? I0.6. One, right? One is coming here. So one is equal to five? No. The condition is false. Next input, next input, next until it is five. Now, here it is five. So it is true. Output is on. Like this. Okay. So this is how your counter is working. And you can use the comparators for comparing this value to make some outputs on or off, some motors on or off. Okay. <clears throat> it is about the counters and comparators <clears throat> or converting any values. You want to convert this MW6 uh, value from integer to double integer. Okay. So that way also you can convert. In the last session, we have also seen this converters, right? Integer to double integer, double integer to real. Okay. So this is for today.